Around this time last year, I shared a tutorial on how I made this gorgeous headband. Today, I'm going to be creating an updated version of that tutorial. And this tutorial was inspired by one of us, a very consistent, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Her name is Lorraine Osose. She dropped a comment on one of my recent videos telling me about how she tried to make this same headband design and she found a few tricks that would help people who are trying to recreate that same tutorial. I took her feedback and I went straight to work to create this same headband design using Lorraine's tips for a particular client. And can you guys see how stunning this headband turned out? Shout out to you, Lorraine. Thank you for always, always being so sweet and supportive on here on the channel. You guys should please give Lorraine a round of applause in the comment section as well and let her feel loved. If you'll be interested in knowing some of the changes that I made in this particular headband design, please be sure to watch this video to the end. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're yet to subscribe, share with your friends and family that might be interested in learning how to make this as well and just engage, engage, engage. All right, guys, let's get straight into the meat and the potatoes of today's video. Let's go. To start off, you need your fabric of choice. I'm working with Ashe, okay? You also need your headband. I'm working with a two inch headband. You need a sparkly ribbon or shine shine ribbon as it's called out here in Nigeria. You need a lighter for burning off the fray edges of your fabric, which is Ashe, okay? You also need your tape for taking measurements. You need your cutting tools, which are your scissors and thread snipper. And those are the things that I'm sharing on here on the screen. I already went ahead to cut out the fabric that I'll be using to wrap my headband. If you're new here and you don't know how to wrap a headband, I'm going to link a tutorial. This is the elastic that I'll also be using for my headband. This is the piece of fabric that we'll be working with. I'm going to leave the dimension on the screen. It's about 6.25 inches by 6.25 inches, okay? This is what we're going to be using to create our petals. And I'm going to explain as we go along in this tutorial. I'm using about six pieces of petals. That's why I have six pieces of ashoke right here already cut out. This is also the hat wire that we are going to be using to create that three layer effect that we saw at the beginning of this video. It's hat wire that was already wrapped with this, our shine shine ribbon. This is me wrapping my headband. If you are new here and you don't know how to wrap a headband, don't worry, I got you. I have a separate tutorial where I share how to wrap a headband like a professional. I'm going to link it on the screen. Click on that card after watching this video and it will show you how to wrap a headband if you can't be bothered to check it out right now scroll to the bottom of your description bar after watching this entire tutorial and you'll find that video right there the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap my hat wire using this shine shine ribbon that i mentioned earlier this is how you should go about wrapping your hat wire apply a little bit of glue at the beginning point wrap your ribbon either shine shine or any type of ribbon they are working with and then start to wrap this piece of ribbon all around your hat wire okay this process requires patience in order to get fantastic results if you rush through it your ribbon might start to open up and it will just look incredibly ugly if you guys look at the old version that i made last year about this time last year for christmas last year i wasn't a professional at that point i was just you know winging it and starting off my journey so that particular end result mm, Right now, I can't even see myself wearing it anymore because my work has improved and it's just patience and just attention to details, basically. So when wrapping your hat wire, make sure that you have your fingers around the hat wire. So as you are wrapping, you are following up with your finger and pulling tightly, okay? Wrap it very tightly because if you don't wrap it tightly, it will start to fray. Can you see at the end of the day, see how my hat wire looks? I took my time. It took me just, what, like 10, 15 minutes to get this entire process done. So don't rush through it. So now it's time for us to start creating our petals. The reason why I said we should make our fabric 6.25 by 6.25 is because the width of this my ashoke is already 6.25. So you want to create a perfect square. So it only made sense for me to make the length of my ashoke as well 6.25. So if your own ashoke is 6 inches wide, cut 6 inches by 6 inches. If your own ashoke is 7 inches wide, cut 7 inches by 7 inches. You want to create a perfect square. So what I'm doing now is I'm folding this perfect square into a triangle. So you first of all fold into a triangle once and then fold another triangle again. Just in case you don't understand the way I'm explaining, please look at the way I'm doing it. I did not speed up this portion so you guys get to see 
clearly. So I'm going to fold the six pieces of Asher that I cut out at the beginning of this video. I'm going to fold them into triangles. If you guys remember the first version, especially if you watched that video when I posted, I told you guys that you should cut out 12 inches of Asher That way you are wasting fabric and the end result will have the edge of the Asher will be showing the fray edge of your um cutting. I don't know how to explain it, but if you if you went ahead to replicate the design just like Lauren did, you will understand what I'm saying. So Lauren's tip here is to allow the end result look very neat and you won't see any ugly or frayy looking edge of your ashio okay if you follow this step so shout out again to lauren lauren you are amazing thank you so much for that feedback so i went ahead to create those triangles and i also took it up a notch i went to my sewing, sewing machine to just sew up the edge of the triangles can you see that the triangles are now like pocket squares and they look perfect so what you're going to be doing now is at the point where you sewed the triangle in place you're going to create running stitches and this point in case you don't know how to find it the widest the widest part of your triangle okay which is supposed to be like the base of your triangle that's where you're creating running stitches on and that's also where you're sewing okay sewing it just helps the end result look neat and put together okay if you don't have a sewing machine you can skip that portion and just go straight into creating your running stitches but i suggest that if you have a sewing machine sew first of all and then go in to do your running stitches and that's exactly what i'm doing here i'm going to create running stitches and create my petals in case you don't understand what i'm saying please look closely like this video if you're yet to hit the like button please remember to like the video subscribe also if you're not subscribed you guys see that my job here is to just create inspiration and help you take us confusion when coming up with gorgeous designs for your millinery business or your fashion designing business. Okay. All right. All right. So this is the first petal that I just made. I'm going to go ahead to create petals on the remaining five pieces of fabric that I have. And then I'll come back to talk to us about the next step in this tutorial. all right guys so these are my petals after they were made incredibly beautiful now it's time to attach these petals onto my plastic headband and we are not using glue oh, at least not yet what we are going to start off doing is we are going to first of all get our needle and thread this time just a regular hand needle not your beading needle okay you use your hand needle to start sewing on the petals to your plastic headband that you've already wrapped if you don't want to wrap your headband that one is your color but me generally i like to wrap my plastic headband because it just gives the end result a very beautiful look so this is how i'm going to go about sewing on my petals onto my plastic headband i cannot really explain this portion so above listening to what i'm saying please look closely i tried my best to move my camera around so you guys get to see clearly exactly what i'm doing again i am not passing my needle and thread through the plastic headband i'm passing it through the wrapped the fabric that i used to wrap my headband and the petal okay because i get questions like that from time to time so please watch closely and then when we are done with this portion i will come back to talk to us when we move to the next stage in this particular tutorial again if you've not hit the like button please hit that thumbs up button so i know you guys are finding value from this tutorial
all right guys so now that i'm done sewing on this first portion these first three pieces of petals it's time for us to attach our hat wire so what i'm doing first of all is i folded my hat wire into the shape that i liked and then i used my paper cello tape to secure the shape that i already created because if you know hat wire and how it is if you leave it it will just unravel itself so you need to secure it either using paper cello tape like I'm doing or using thread, I find that paper cello tape does the job very fast and easily and it makes sure that it gets the job done properly. So I like to use paper cello tape. If you have any other tricks, feel free to share with me in the comment section. I'm also learning from you guys as you guys can tell already. So what I'm doing here is I'm deciding where I want to place this design that I've created using my hat wire and then I'm applying some glue along the base of the petals that we already sewed. If you if you do exactly what I shared, you'll see that the petal is still shaped okay in order to make it sit firmly you need to apply some glue underneath the petals and then you now use your fingers to just place the petals in place just the way you like it all right and once that has dried down what you are going to do next is to get your glue gun again and apply some glue onto the portion where you want to place this is it antenna now some of my friends whenever they see me wearing designs like this they call it antennas right so i'm going to call it antenna okay wherever you want this your antenna design to be you just Put some glue on there and then stick your antenna onto that portion as well. You're not going to leave your antenna just, you know, hanging like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a piece of ribbon, a one inch ribbon. I'm going to apply some glue onto that ribbon and then use that ribbon on this portion where this cello tape is showing. That is just to give this our glue placement an extra security, okay? You know, I don't trust glue, but sewing on this antenna at this point might be a bit tricky. So in order to take out that, you know, just as a plan B, right, to prevent any form of wardrobe disaster, you want to get your ribbon, apply some glue on that ribbon, and then stick it on. Just in case you need me to show what exactly I'm talking about, don't worry, we are going to get to that point. I'm just waiting for my glue at this point to dry down, and then I'll show you exactly what it is that I'm talking about. All right, friends, so can we see that I already cut out the tiny pieces of ribbon that I'll be using to cover up that portion? What I'm doing now is I'm just using my lighter to just burn off the stray edges of that ribbon. If you're familiar with ribbon, especially this um, velvet type of ribbon, they tend to fray once you use scissors on them. So I like to use my lighter to just seal up the edge by just burning it off a little. So now I'm trying to figure out where I want to place the ribbon. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some glue at that point and then just place that ribbon there just to secure this our antenna and make sure that it does not move once i've done that successfully i'm going to move on to now start sewing on the remaining three petals onto this headband that process is similar to the way we did the first one and remember that after sewing the petals in place you want to follow up with just a, a tiny dollop of glue underneath the petals just in case you don't understand what i'm saying don't worry i'm going to illustrate it so i'm just going to keep quiet now and i guess watch what i'm doing and then i'll be back to talk to us towards the end of this tutorial
all right guys so we can see that i'm already done sewing on the petals now it's time for me to just put some glue underneath and then just secure the petals in place can you guys see how stunning this looks i mean it's still fine <laughs> all right so i'm going to just cut off my thread now and because i just like everything looking perfect okay what i'm going to do next is i'm going to go ahead to do some bead work along the brim of this petal okay where this petal is meeting the headband that point i'm going to do some beading right there and it's the overlapping beading pattern that i'm going to be using for this particular work just in case you're new on the channel and you're like which one is overlapping beading pattern again don't worry i'm going to share a tutorial with you please click on the card that i put up here on the screen there you are going to see how to create the overlapping beading pattern on anything you can create it on outfits on head pieces on any type of design that you like okay so check out that tutorial but for the purpose of this video i'm going to move through this portion of beading the headband very quickly because i have a more detailed tutorial elsewhere so once i'm done creating this bead work i'm going to show us the end results of this video if you've made it up to this point and you're still not subscribed to the channel guys i don't know what else you want me to say oh please subscribe to the channel you would not regret it okay please hit the subscribe button also don't forget to turn on your post notification so you'll be the first to know every single time i post a new tutorial i try my best to share tutorials weekly on here on the channel also if you know someone that would find this if you remember that your friend that likes to do things like this and you know she's going to like this video please hit that share button and then share this tutorial with her also if you've not liked the video please like it after doing the bead work this is the end result of this headband can you guys see how stunning this is please give lauren a round of applause again in the comment section thank you so much lauren for coming up with this tip and i made this headpiece for a client that has a bed day shoot and you guys i have nothing to say the the headband is already doing the talking the end result looked absolutely beautiful at the point of filming this tutorial she the owner of the headband has not seen the headband yet but i'm sure she'll be so excited when she sees it if you enjoyed again please hit the like button thank you guys so much again for watching this tutorial compliments of the season and yeah guys i can't wait to see you in another tutorial very, very soon. Bye-bye.